After four more victories, what once was a rebuilding year now had the potential of being the greatest season in Miami history. But standing in the way were the West Virginia Mountaineers with an all-star quarterback and a powerful defense. This was a showdown of two emerging national powers, both now ranked in the top 10, and both with their sights on an Orange Bowl bid. But only one could survive with its dream still intact. The hurricane defense was intent on making sure it would be Miami. Stellar performances by linebacker Jay Brophy and middle guard Tony Fitzpatrick set the tempo for the afternoon. With the running game shut down, the inside strength of the Hurricanes turned quarterback Jeff Hostetler's trip to Miami into an exercise in futility. Kosar's most consistent receiver, senior tight end Glenn Dennison, frustrated the Mountaineer defense. His seven catches this day broke the school record for pass receptions in a season. His 19-yard touchdown grab put Miami in front to stay. Two Jeff Davis field goals extended the lead. Just as Dennison had become Miami's consistent receiver, Ed Brown had become its explosive receiver. His 49-yard reception in the fourth quarter set up the final touchdown. <laughs> Behind outstanding protection from the young offensive line, Kosar hit senior Keith Griffin to seal the Mountaineers' doom. More than 63,000 Miami fans exulted in the heroic 20-3 triumph. The Miami Hurricanes had blown away another nationally ranked opponent. It was hard to imagine how far they had come since that painful afternoon in Gainesville less than two months before. They were now eight and one, the best start in their history. They were on a collision course with destiny. I can't say very much except this. Yeah, you come a long way. Nobody in the world thought you could come this far. Nobody had a wildest dream thought you could do it. Except everybody here. 